people it's very interesting psychology factor okay so there are some people who are like they will wait okay they know sir will send the link when the classes will start and then there are people sir when are going to classes when are going to start i'm so eager to learn sir when are classes going to start every week they will drop me whatsapp and those are the people who are not watched the two videos also right i have sent it at least three times five times four times and to those people, I have sent it one extra time actually, <laughs> because to keep them quiet. Okay, just ye thoda dekh lo tab tak. Okay, keep quiet. So very good. You know what is your diagnosis? Don't worry. It's okay. If you're not married, you are still saved. I mean, the other partner is still stay saved. <laughs> you are the. Okay. Ha. Today, tomorrow, next two days, take out two hours, watch those two videos. Okay. Now, unless you watch those videos, you will not understand how to use relationship test and couple activity. When a couple comes to you, what you do? Okay. Uh, Rajeshwari, stop checking your WhatsApp. When a couple comes to you, you first tell them. Number one rule is here you don't start history. Number one rule you tell them yourself about you that you are completely unbiased, non prejudiced. We are talking of marriage relationship counseling, uh, history taking. You are unbiased, non prejudiced, very scientific, not favoring any party, not opposed to any party. You are not opposed to divorce, you are not favoring divorce, you are not favoring coming them together. You are not trying to patch them up. That is not your objective. Okay. I don't have any of this objective. My objective is your objective. What do you want? If you want to come together, I will help you. If you want to separate out, I will help you. I will not try to convince you to patch up. Okay. I'm not your parent. I'm not your child. I'm not your friend. I'm not your brother, sister. I'm not your family member. I'm not going to help you. Right. Anything else, what you don't want. Okay. I will assist you stepwise what you want to do. Now tell me very transparently what you want. Now, couple may come for three to four reasons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one is they want to separate out. Very easy ball game. So they have come to you for uh, negotiation of their terms. <clears throat> right. While negotiating, you will have the diagnosis. One person has psychological issue. So you don't disclose that diagnosis. Do not write it on the paper and give it. That's a huge mistake. They will use it in the code and you will be dragged. Don't do that. Okay. Anything in relationship counseling, number one rule, you will not write on paper and give it to them. Right. You will not share any relationship test, either unfilled or filled. Anything. No. So relationship test, always you will ask the questions one by one, fill the answers and take the notes. Right. If a client insists, there are stupid clients. They insist, Madam, I have paid you money. You have to give me the report. You say that is not the agreement. I don't do that. Okay. If you want, you can take your money, go to wherever they pay. They give you report. My protocol is I don't give you the report. When you came to me, you we did not have that agreement that madam, you have to give report, then only I will pay you. Yeah. And you have paid me for the consultation, not for the report, not for buying me. You're not brought me, you're not brought my uh, time also. What you are taken is avail is my services for marriage counseling. My service ends there. Okay. But now, since you have said that you have paid it, I'm giving you the refund. I am blocking you. I don't want you as my client. Block refund, block end the relation. Okay. Do not give any report in writing because. Either party is going to go and misuse it. Sometimes a couple comes and says, all goody goody. Both of them want to patch up, but one person has a secret intention to break up and want some report or something. Okay. So be careful. So the couple may come for separation. Here they want some negotiation or they need counseling for psychology counseling for uh, their emotional protection of their psychological well being. Okay, right? They don't want to go mad or insane while going through the proceedings. So that is why it is very important that a marriage counselor should also learn psychology counseling. And if you see 50% of the marriage counseling clients, 
one party will have some psychological issue and she or he is responsible for the divorce it can be typically a bipolar disorder anxiety people depressed people or it can be narcissist personality one of the common factor <clears throat> sometimes it can be schizophrenia also do not put this diagnosis in front of the client yeah you don't want one person to win because of your one statement right so the second thing the client may come to you that they want to patch up so if a client if a couple has fights and they come to you they want to patch up there is a good success rate right they will need 15 to 20 sessions during this 15 to 20 sessions you will do relationship test two or three relationship tests plus every time some couple activity okay. number three client may come to you saying that uh, there is a trust issue or there is a relationship issue between us we want to patch up so again you do that test identify what is exactly problem between the relationship or the trust and then do the couple activities for that three or four can be they want to rekindle the relationship so there is a boredom in the relationship intimacy is lost so you want to they want to rekindle the relationship so there are some couple activities you can tell them or you can give them some advice Number five can be <clears throat> just simple things that is affecting their relation. They think that they are drifting away or one partner is drifting away. One partner has some negative thoughts, okay, cognitive error. And now both of them want to come together. So these are the uh, around five things they are going to come. Either of the thing, you will not influence them. Okay, you are now incompatible. I think you should separate. None of your business. So if the couple says we want to separate, you cannot tell, no, no, you are such a nice and beautiful couple. I cannot see you separated. Hey, don't, no one cares what you can see and no one, what you cannot see. They are going to bury you and go to the next uh, marriage counselor. Okay. You are not their parent. It should not affect them. And don't put empathy. Okay. Don't put yourself in the shoes of one client or both the client. No, no, they have children. How can I let them separate? Hey, none of your business. Right. They are not your children. They are not your grandchildren. Right. So they want to separate out whatever is their reason. You have to understand that, okay? Now start with the, that is, that happened. First, your introduction here. In marriage counseling, number one step is your introduction. Number two step is asking them what is your objective of coming to me. Number three is story. Tell me short story, 10 minutes. 10 minutes you, 10 minutes you. Do not direct your story to each other. Rule is you cannot disrespect, you cannot abuse, you cannot fight. When one person is talking, you will keep quiet. Otherwise, you stay outside. 10 minutes only. Story, objective of story is not to win me. You cannot win me. Right? I am neutral for both of you. Right? Number four, short story. Okay? They will start some Mahabharata Ramayana, one upon a time, 1942. And, hey, cut off. Hey, tell me the short story. Okay? Because I am going to ask you examples also. If you tell me one statement, I don't trust, he does not trust. So I'm going to ex ex ask you three examples. Now you tell them the fourth stage, what you are going to do. As a marriage counselor, what you are going to do. As a marriage counselor, you are going to do relationship tests and couple activity. You tell them what is the difference between other marriage counselors and you. Typically in the market, marriage counselors, they talk from their own wisdom. They tell you what you should do. I'm not like that. I'm very scientific, unbiased non prejudice I'm going to use relationship tests. I know 20 relationship tests. Out of that, based on your story, I will select two, three tests. So there is a trust a test for respect, trust, anger, stonewalling, criticism, compatibility, love, uh, anger. How do you handle criticism? How do you handle feedback? All those, there are stories. And then I'm going to help you through the couple activities. When we do this test, two or three tests, it takes around each test takes around five sessions. But the benefit of the test is that scientifically, both of you will be able to identify what is the problem jointly you are having, what is the problem other spouse is having, what is the problem you are having. Right? Pinpoint exactly. You cannot say a vague statement respect is the problem. So within the respect, what is the problem? I will help you find out. If when you find out, then we can open up a discussion. I will be facilitator. I will help you open up your discussion through me only so that you do not fight and you behave properly.
like a human beings, not animals, and you open up your discussion and solve issues, right? Now, there are three types of issues. We are coming to stage five. There are three types of issues. Issues, one is critical issue. The other source has to solve, otherwise you will leave. <clears throat> End the relation, critical issue, right? You solve, you leave. Number two, the issue is solvable, okay? Solvable in terms of either you compromise or either other spouse compromise and you come and find a mutual solution, right? Simple things, solvable. Number three is silly issue, right? You are saying this is an issue, but in the realistic world, this is not an issue actually. This is an issue in your own head because you have a cognitive error, right? Or this is really an issue, but you can ignore it. It is not critical for your relationship, okay? So three types of issues. Number one, critical to the relationship. If spouse does not agree, you break up. Means you want to break up. It is critical for you. May not be critical for other party. Number two is solvable issue. Solvable means either you compromise it or other person changes his behavior or whatever things. And come to a mutual solution and solve it. Number three is silly issues. You don't need to care about it. You don't need to worry about it. It is not an issue also. Okay, ignore it. Right? So someone has a style for uh, talking in a way. Okay? Someone has a style for eating in a way. You don't fight for that. Okay? It's okay. Now, when it comes to these silly issues, when you now we are coming to stage three. So in these issues, whatever issues they are going to tell you. Right? So stage six is you identify what are their issues. Label it them. Okay, critical, compromise, and silly issue. So you want to tell them, when you identify a critical issue, you want to tell to this party, hey, see, this is a critical issue for her. You change, otherwise this will break. You tell me. Okay, code is also going to look like this. The second part is, uh, you tell this person, hey, this is a easy, solvable issue, don't worry. We talk to the, this person. And say, hey, this is a solvable. Don't trouble her. Don't trouble him for this. Okay. You can live peacefully. Right. Otherwise, you can keep fighting like animals. Number three is the silly issue. Right. Hey, this is not an issue. Don't worry. It's okay. You have to learn to ignore this part. You will have to learn to ignore this part if you want to continue. Okay. <clears throat> questions. Ask the questions. Then we'll continue. Who will repeat? Barka, write down what are the steps, six steps we have done. Stage, step one, your intro, right? That you are scientific, unbiased, non-prejudiced. In marriage relationship counseling, six stages. We'll come to more stages. So step one, your intro, uh, you are unbiased, non-prejudiced, very scientific, non-judgmental, not going to take any side. You are going to use relationship test and couple activities. Step two, their objective. You want to ask what is their objective. What is step three? You tell them what are you going to do. So you are going to use relationship test, couple activity, understand their history. What, why you are going to use relationship test? You are going to use relationship test so as to identify what is the problem exactly. Right? The problem is respect, trust, anger, stone, volume, criticism, compatibility, love. Within that, what is the actual problem you want to understand? You, and also you emphasize you are not like other marriage counselors who just talk. I'm going to do the scientific test. 
also to repair your or to solve this problem, I'm going to use couple activities, right? Then you ask them what are their issues, their history, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, numbers. Step four. Step five, you, you divide the issues into uh, critical, uh, compromise, and silly issues. Step six, you tell them, hey, this issue is critical. This issue is compromise. This issue is a silly issue. Now, uh, there is an interesting question. What if one of the client is not ready to accept the issue at all? So, one party may think other, okay. So, sometimes one spouse may think that other spouse is not accepting that this is an issue. So, marriage counselor role is unbiased. So, now do you think that this is an issue? So, you ask this spouse, tell me the examples in front of this spouse, tell me the examples. Okay. Now, if you think from your Okay, that this is an issue. So you have to explain, hey, this is a real issue. You have to accept it. Okay. And you have to improvise other this relationship will break. If this spouse wants to break, you cannot do anything. Okay. So always know that if one spouse wants to break, it is difficult to repair this relation. Right. So all the onus lies on this person to repair this relation. And that is just a drag for a few years. At the end, it is going to break. Or this person does not want to accept the issues because this person is clear they are going to go for some court or legal battle. That's why they don't want to accept. Okay, They are playing games. It can happen. Now, the other question is, can we permit the individual to talk? Okay, So ideally, first session, you will have both together if both of them have come to you. Then when you conduct relationship test, now we are coming to the point of relationship test, step seven. When you're conducting relationship test, the first test which you conduct is the couple together. So you have the relationship test with you. You make four columns, one, three columns, okay? One column is couple answers. Second column is wife answer. Third column is husband answer. Within the couple column, you divide it into two columns wife and husband. So first session is going to be the couple column where both of them you are doing the test individually, uh, couple together, right? And you ask one question and note down what is the answer of the wife, what is the answer of the husband. Tell them don't try to be manipulative or I'm not going to be judgmental. Whatever you think is the answer, you write down and don't be afraid, okay? I'm not going to share this result with you. Be very clear. I will not share this result with you. Okay. If the argument starts, you say, get out. I don't want to take your counseling. Okay. Get out. There is no other polite way. Don't try to defend yourself that no, no, this way, that way. Don't try to explain. They know what is the reason they are asking. They know why you are refusing. Both the answers they know. Directly say, get out. I don't want to give you. If you want to take consultation with me, you will take with my room. My rule is I will charge you for the consultation, not for giving you relationship test. Okay. If you go to other counselor, she is not going to use this relationship test. Okay. It's not only that it is a copyright content. I'm not allowed to share with you. That is the one thing because there is a legal liability on me also. Okay. I will not share. Number two, it is my principle not to share it because it can get misused. Okay. If you have come with the objective that you want relationship test, you never knew that such thing exists. And now you have come and 1500 rupees, you are going to buy this. It doesn't work. Okay. You pay me 10,000, still I'm not going to share with you. Okay. You get up. Now, <clears throat> so when you are very clear that you are not going to share, so tell them to give the correct answer. So you will write down your answers. Okay. Obviously your answers, whatever you are writing, both of them are there. They know what are their answers. Okay. Now, don't be judgmental. Don't raise eyebrows. Hey, oh, okay. Don't do like this. Just silently note down the answers. Then you do the same test separately wife, separately husband, right now. If there is a discrepancy, so you ask at the end of this separate test, why this answer is not a match? So the spouse may say, I was afraid, I was embarrassed. Actually, I wanted to hide in front of the other party or something. Okay, all those reasons. Now, whenever you are doing this uh, <coughs> relationship test, Right. 
So this one session is coupled together. One session is half session is wife separately, half session is husband separately. The third third session then comes for uh, analysis part. You ask both the couple together. You have done your analysis. What is the answer? They are the given. You are prepared that there are some questions you are going to ask. So there are going to be some points which are going to be cross questions. So in the test, there are two, three questions which are having the same meaning in a different language. So if the answer is not consistent, you have to cross. Hey, why Why you think this is different? Okay. If understanding issue, okay. You want to correct it? Okay. No problem. Now, uh, there might be things where it needs attention. Some answer is there that answer is typically yes or no. Okay. Some, some question is there. It needs your attention. So you ask, what is the example? Tell me some examples. Now, whatever is that statement, okay, divide it into whether it is a critical issue, compromise or a silly issue. Okay. Now you need to open up this discussion with the examples. Okay. So tell them that you will not interrupt each other. You will not be disrespectful. You will not talk to each other. Whatever you want, you will direct to me. Then I will tell. Okay. Right. Sometimes there is a misunderstanding. Sometimes there is a cognitive error. So one party will give some silly example or something. Then you say that hey, you simple thing. Why don't you compromise? Huh? It's a simple and silly thing. Right. Okay. Now some things cannot be compromised. Then you have to say that if it is not being compromised, you decide whether you want to leave this person for this reason or you want to stay and compromise. If it is a critical, you say, hey, hey it's very critical. Uh, take care of this. Right. Now uh, at the end, so this analysis takes two, three sessions. For running each test, it takes around five sessions. So you are engaging the client for five times for one, one test. Client likes it. They want to, they like to see that you are so scientific. You are running this test. You are helping them open up their communication. Because when they open up the communication, when they understand that the problem is so pinpoint, they are able to solve it. Whatever is a cognitive error, whatever is the mistakes happening, whatever is the behavior thing, you can tell them. Okay. And then they change, right? If they want to come together. Then you do two or three tests. Okay. For a couple out of 20 tests, you identify, you select. Now, some question may come. How do I select a test? From the history they have given, from the story they say, you select their test. Whatever you feel. Okay. Two, three tests. Each, after each session, you have to make sure you have to tell them what you are going to do next. We are coming to point it, which is a couple activities, step eight. Okay. So before the end of each session, you tell them one couple activity. Now, how to select couple activity? There are hundred couple activities. You are not going to remember it. Don't worry. You open up the book in front of them. Randomly, whichever couple activity comes to in front of you, you tell them. Option one, because you are so lazy, you are not watching the video also. So it means you are not going to read the book also. So that's why lazy people answer. Second is if you are so dedicated that you have noted down that this couple activity is for trust, this couple activity is for rekindling passion, this couple activity is for love, or reduce this couple activity is for boredom, then you give specific couple activity to them. Couple activity is for them to engage, for them to give some assignment. You go home, do this assignment, then they come back and say, so before they come back to you, they have this thing. Ma'am has given this assignment. We have to do this and all this. Okay. And uh, tell them also, even if you do not do it, it's okay. Still come back to me. I'm not going to scold you because I'm not your teacher. I'm not your parent. I am no one for you. Okay. I'm here for money for marriage counseling. That's the end of our relation. No more, no less. Okay. Questions? Ask questions. So we have come to stage eight. Okay, who will write down? Write down everyone. What are the stages, steps of marriage relationship counseling? Hmm. Good. Non sincere student has become sincere. Good, Rajeshwani. Hmm.
एट इज कपल एक्टिविटी हम्म There is a question by Pravita. How to categorize critical compromise failure? The, in the test, when you do, so they will answer something which needs your attention, right? <clears throat> that part you ask examples. From the example, you will understand. Okay, so I will give you an example. So the husband talks freely to other women, other girls, makes friends with other girls. Critical issue. If she is not liking it, hey, you don't do it. You are not going to die if you don't talk to pretty girls. But she is dying. Yeah. Husband takes care of mother. Hey, you have to live and compromise in this or you leave your husband. Okay, you have to compromise. Silly. One of the spouse likes things to be kept systematically. One of the spouse takes more time to get ready. Okay, all those things. These are silly. One of the spouse has a hygiene issue. So you tell that this is such a silly thing. Why don't you improvise your hygiene, dear? Okay. Acha, you are not yet married. Okay. It means you have seen some couple in your family who do this. Okay. Oh, you do this with your sibling. Okay. Then it's okay. Respect. Hmm. No, your sibling does that with you. No. You are doing to do this with your... Hmm. Ah, that is the only answer now. So I have done all permutation combination. So silly things, AC temperature. Okay. So if one partner is feeling hot, no solution. You have to keep it low temperature. But if one partner is feeling low, you take the blanket. Wear woolen clothes, even in summer. It happens at our home. So we have Kailash Parvat. 18 degrees Celsius all throughout 12 months. Me and my daughter, both of us like uh, extreme cold. Good point, Rajeshwari. So, if husband asks, why should I not talk to pretty girls? And my wife is, uh, she is insecure. It's okay, she is insecure. That is her drawback. When you married, you have to accept such small drawbacks, right? But it is hurting her, right? And it is eroding her happiness. If you don't talk to pretty girls, you will not die. It will not erode your happiness. But her happiness, can you not do this for your wife? If answer is no, then go and marry one of the pretty girls. Okay? Right? And you write down this. Okay? When your matter goes to court, you have to accept and say that then. Okay. Or do you want to compromise your happiness? Now, <clears throat> should there be some ninth okay, point? Ninth point is Maintain your rules, okay? And this should be first point actually. So what are the, your rules going to be? Nine point, safeguarding yourself, okay? You will not give any diagnosis, either orally or on paper. You will not give anything written on the paper. Not even the uh, statement that you did your marriage counseling for them. You will not, uh, uh, give the results of relationship test you will not share the copy of relationship test so a poor marriage counselor what she will do she will take the photo of relationship test and send it to them and ask them to feel and come back so you are so poor you are so lazy you are not worthy to be marriage counselor you should work in dominoes right why because when you do this 
So it means you are so lazy to ask the question and take five sessions. You want to take this client just because of tick mark. They have come to me, you want to do them a favor. You don't want to earn money, you don't want to really help them. Right? So you are so lazy that you are sending them photo and telling them, okay, you feel this. Okay? So a good marriage counselor will always ask the questions, will engage the client. Right? And if you can earn five sessions, why you want to end it with one session? The only reason is you are worthy of Domino's job. Okay? So never do that. And this relationship test, if you share with them, they both the parties can fulfill, do this test. Then one person can betray the other and use it for the court. And remember, there is always going to be, one person is always going to be pretending Okay, and they may have something in their own mind. You cannot judge, right? So you have to safeguard yourself, right? You don't want to get into entangled in that battle, okay? And then make it very clear in the beginning that I will, I'm unbiased, non-prejudiced. I will not share any test. I will not give you anything in writing. If that is your objective, get out right now. Okay, no pol politeness is required. Huh? Okay, Snigda has asked another question. So what if the husband assures and comfort wife that there is nothing going on with the pretty girl? Yeah, it's okay. But the reason that a husband has to comfort wife, yeah, why he has to comfort? Because she is insecure or he is doing stupid things? He is doing stupid things na, at the end. Why you want to do that? Okay. So then another way is that uh, you, uh, if wife starts putting by mistake salt more in the daily food, okay, and she says, hey, you have to compromise here. You are so insecure, your taste buds are gone actually, right? Can you not tolerate some salt extra? What is this stupid? So like she's tolerating girls, you tolerate some salt. Okay. Huh. So it's the same case actually. Snigda is not married, that's why she's asking this question. The married girls will understand the seriousness of this question. Hmm. Any question till now? Step 10. Step 10 is you give them some sessions where you listen to their story. All the bakwas. No time limit. Obviously, you are going to build them as per the hour. Okay. So, but you tell them this is a session in the middle. Okay. Sometimes. So, tomorrow we are going to have session where you are free to talk and tell me all your story with examples, anything. You can unburden your heart. So they want someone who is going to listen to them. So don't forget, this is very important. Okay, don't be so much scientific that you miss out what they want. So one of the things they want is someone to listen to them who is unbiased. Okay, so unburden their heart. Don't make notes. Listen to them like a friend, ask them questions, ask them some examples, engage. Okay, so in the middle, you keep them this session. Step 10. This step 10 will intermittently be spread out. Right? So whenever you want, I, we will have these sessions. So for example, you are going to meet them twice a week, thrice a week. You have one more additional session in the middle of the two sessions where that is a uh, bakwas session, talking session. Okay? You talk whatever nonsense you want to talk. I will listen to you. Okay? You unburden your heart. Okay? And there is no time limit. You can talk to me two hours, three hours. But I'm going to bill you our room. Okay. Start. So then her wife will, both will say, we will come together. Okay, good. That's a good thing, actually. Uh, then wife will say, I will come separately. Okay, good. Then husband says, I will come separately. Good. Good for you. Good for them. Because that helps you to discuss with more with them. Okay. All right. Make sure don't make notes. If you can't remember the story, it means you are not paying attention. See, if your friend tells you some story, they put on someone's Facebook, they, you remember everything here, right? 
So can you not remember and uh, how much client you get? Correct, individually as well as couple, okay? Now, the step nine I will repeat is safeguarding yourself. Safeguarding yourself means you make it very clear in the beginning that you will not give relationship test, you will not give couple activity, you will not share any paper, you will not write anything on paper and give it to them. Okay. So Suja has asked like, what if, if the couple doesn't want to do relationship test? It's okay. If you don't want relationship test, I will not force you. You start your bakwas. Yeah, whatever you want to talk, I will listen to you. I will tell you what things can be done and all the examples and all. Okay. See, I'm very scientific, right? In the market, you will find such kind of marriage counselors. And also know that those couple who don't want to follow your instructions, they are window shopping. They are going to come you for one time, the next time they are going to run away. It's okay. Okay. So you cannot force them. So you tell them whatever you want. Uh, okay. Right. Fourth and fifth in the seventh stage, uh, while we are doing the analysis of the session, third, fourth, fifth is analysis plus discussion on each point uh, with examples. Tell me this example. We will run this test. That time you will understand. Okay. So 10 steps. Now there are some average marriage counselors who do this as tell me what is the favorite color of your husband? What is the favorite food? What is the favorite cloth? Favorite dish? I don't know how it makes sense. Okay. How much you know your couple, right? So it is all fancy things to ask. Probably when someone is a teenager or in a first relationship, before marriage, these are the questions which might be like just for fun field. If you cannot answer each other, uh, this I don't know what is your favorite color. I don't know what is your favorite color, food or dish. Doesn't that doesn't mean the diagnosis is not that okay. Now you separate out. You don't know. Are you going to do that? So what is the outcome of this test? There is no outcome. Stupid. Okay. So you are not going to separate them out after their marriage because of they fail in the knowing each other test. Before marriage also, if they come to you and they fail in each other test, you are not going to say, hey, you know, this boy doesn't know anything about you, but your other friend, he knows everything about you. So you break up with this and marry. So you cannot do that, right? Okay. So those questions are invalid. So you have to have a scientific test. Now, what is a scientific test? Test is has an objective, very clear objective. So if I say that this is a test for respect, it means all the questions will help you identify whether there is a respect between the couple. And who is at fault? The one who is answering or the other spouse is at fault. This test will help you identify the respect between the both party, either side. From the answer of the wife, you can get, you can understand whether the problem is from the wife's side or whether the problem is from the husband's side. So there are questions in build. Now this test has been, has gone through statistical significance test also. To identify that, yes, what it intends to measure, it measures. Okay. So that test has to meet the objective, right? Ninth is safeguarding yourself and tenth is story listening. Okay. Whatever you want to speak up, whatever you want to unburden your heart, whatever story you want to give, give me. Okay. So we repeat now. <clears throat> what are the steps? Steps for marriage relationship counseling. When a couple comes to you, you introduce yourself. Okay, you talk very clearly. You say you are unbiased, non prejudiced, you are scientific, you don't have empathy, you are not their parent, you are not them, you are not their brother, sister, relative, you are not going to take any side, you are not going to tell them what to do. You are going to understand what is their objective and help them achieve their objective. And I'm not going to do any of uh, these things, okay? Right? Number two, you understand what is their objective. Their objective may be separate out and negotiate the terms. Their objective may be rekindle the relationship, rekindle passion. Their objective may be to build trust, respect. Their objective may be, we are getting drifting away. We want to come together. We don't know what is a the problem. Their objective is fights going on. They want to patch up. 
their objective may be we are very clear we want to separate out we want to protect our emotional well being psychological well being that we need psychology counseling correct that is objective you tell them i show them i am going to meet your objective strictly i am not going to influence you to stay together or separate out okay now step 3 you are going to tell them what you are going to do or what systematic plan you have relationship test tell them that you are going to relationship test if stage is for respect trust anger stone wall criticism compatibility love identifying how you handle criticism how you handle respect and all those things and i will help you identify what is the problem between you you may say that there is a problem with the love but within the love what is the component that is missing i will help you pinpoint identify it is missing from this side or this side or both side is a problem and then through the couple activities i will help when we do this analysis this identification of problem itself helps you solve the problem because once you know the problem you can solve it and number 2 i will do the couple activities okay so step 3 you are telling them what your your plan and it will take 15 to 20 session but i assure you this is worth and you will enjoy it number 4 history taking 10 minutes this is a first session going on okay only 10 minutes 10 minutes history taking come to the point okay click 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 then you divide the issue you tell them that issues are of three types probably this is not the stage to divide the issue but after the analysis stage you will divide the issue so issues are of three types uh, critical issue you want to separate out if it is not solved compromise you can compromise or other party can change and compromise third silly issue either the other person is silly or you are silly okay not a issue at all then st uh, step 6 run the relationship test okay what is that tell them what is that step 6 someone has written explain them their issue okay so you want to understand what are the issues and take there some examples right then step 7 conduct the relationship test while conducting relationship test each you identify from their story from their issues from their examples which test you want to conduct two or three test each test will take five sessions for the relationship test you have identified you will take the paper you will make three columns first couple column wife column husband column couple column you divide into two columns sub columns wife and husband first the couple will come together you ask the question i write the answers wife has given this husband has given this yes or yes no then wife answer then husband answer okay then next time they uh, come to you uh, you want to do the uh, analysis analysis of the relationship test okay so actually step 6 is the relationship test okay and step 7 is analysis of the relationship test so in the analysis part you are doing <coughs> first there are there are inbuilt number 1 is uh, they may give cross mistaken answers not matching answers between the couple and the say, individual answers St uh, other can be uh, they give inconsistent answer because in each test there are same meaning different phrasing statements are given mismatch of the answers then whatever is the answer you want to understand whichever is important you want to understand tell me what is your examples okay so when with this examples you open up the communication okay so step 7 is analysis and opening up the communication okay right and this will take two or three sessions opening up step 8 with each session starting from first session itself to keep them engaged you give them sub couple activities you all learned 100 couple activities step 9 is self guarding yourself right which is the step throughout okay medical legal self guard self guarding your mental emotions you tell them this is my timing you will not disturb me otherwise you will not call me without appointment i'm going to bill you you will message me during this time only okay step 10 story listening sessions so intermittently you have some sessions where you say whichever story you want to speak you unburden your heart tell all your story this will be the sessions you will come to me right either you can come both together either you can come separately also okay clear so this is a very scientific way for uh, relationship test okay good good shriya Shriya, what you are written, please uh, WhatsApp me also. All those who are writing this, uh, they WhatsApp me. <clears throat> Now.
questions we will see the special uh, scenarios where one couple come uh, one spouse comes other spouse does not come you continue to help this uh, spouse okay because she has no one or he has no one to help right so don't say that hey i cannot help you go to hell it's not like that yeah you have to help because no one is there if both couple come good okay if they start abusing uh, each other or fighting each other so cut it immediately you say i'm ending this session okay you come tomorrow or if you want to continue the session stop it immediately so my number one rule is you will respect each other in front of me at least you will not abuse you will not fight okay because i am not paying you to entertain me yeah so i would rather watch some hindi movies or hindi serial and get entertained seeing husband wife fight and emphasize very clearly you don't have empathy for any of them or both of them okay so you don't have sympathy you don't have empathy so you do not put yourself in their shoes so i'm on bias party i'm a third party I'm not your parent. I'm not your child. I'm not your brother, sister. I'm not your family. I'm not you. You are you. Okay. So be very straightforward. The client will like it, right? So this straight approach, so the client like it because they are looking for someone who is this actually, even if they are not aware. So client is not aware that they are looking for someone like this, unbiased, non-empathetic, non-sympathetic, right? So when they meet you. and you say up front yeah i am like this they are like yeah yeah we wanted this even if we did not know we want this we wanted this yeah now there is a step 11 the step 11 is the counseling part for psychology issue if you have found it okay so if one person or both the party they need help for psychology counseling you take up separate sessions with them never take psychology counseling sessions jointly okay you don't know what direction it will go okay now and uh, take it separately okay for that marriage counselor should be certified with us for psychology counseling because you learn all conditions and how to actually counsel the client how to diagnose the client how to manage them you learn very scientific okay step 12 is psychotherapy now whether they separate whether they keep together they have their share of emotional trauma betrayals all those things so they need healing sessions for replacing their memory erasing their traumatic memory and uh, they need uh, psychodynamics for improving their emotional bank balance so for that you can join that program and learn those techniques from me okay so th there are some students in this batch who are doing psychology counseling psychotherapy and marriage who are those students please write down in the chat so they can write down in the chat so they are able to holistically help a couple actually right so any marriage counseling couple they are going through tremendous emotional trauma we need to help them okay so they will need replacing traumatic memory they will need healing their memories healing betrayal they will need putting up new memories or good memories they will need change of responses to a scenario trigger factor so neuroplasticity they will need they will need increasing emotional bank balance by psychodynamic techniques so there are some students who like they had their share of traumas either because of marriage or personal things and when they are undergoing psychotherapy sessions with me techniques they are learning with me so it is healing them who are those without mentioning that what you got healed so if you are feeling the healing effect of the psychotherapy program so write down in the chat that you are getting healed write down in the chat very good very good so everyone goes through their emotional trauma and especially psychotherapy session student they know that i also sometimes go through okay okay i am a human being and i broadcast to this psychotherapy students that today i am going through mental breakdown i will not take the class so i have done that and that was important for me i never do that uh, for getting a sympathy or something but that was the time i realized 
I need to disclose to someone so that I acknowledge myself that I am going through mental breakdown, so that I can accept it and then start my healing process. So that's why I have to disclose to some people. Otherwise, I do not disclose to anyone in my family also, right? But that was a very critical time. I had to like, no, I need to disclose to some people so that I can accept it because I was not accepting. Okay, I was refusing. No. <laughs> I was in a refusal stage. So after I accepted myself that, yes, then I could heal myself. So that was a good thing. Yeah. And it's, it's a good part that none of the student wrote back to me. So our, uh, none of the student showed empathy or sympathy. That was a very good part. So I respect that students because they understand um, how you should do. Okay. So if you start sympathizing with someone, so the person starts feeling victimized. Okay. So that never do that. Okay. So all these 30 students, none of them wrote back. Okay. So take care, sir. You will go better. I sympathize. I empathize. No one wrote. So that was very good. It means you are a good student. You are learned how actually psychotherapy works. So very good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Tremendously helping and healing. Okay. <clears throat> All those people, uh, so we have done 12 steps, okay? So all those people, students who are learning this, start helping people, okay? Marriage clients, you will never get among your relatives or your friends, never. Because they will always have uh, thought, uh, hey, you are going to be biased towards one or you are not going to be non-judgmental, okay? And they are also afraid you are going to discuss with other one. And they know how it happens, right? Hey, don't tell anyone. Then you say that, hey, don't tell anyone, <laughs> right? So marriage clients are always going to be better that they are going to be unknown people. Don't do it for free because then you are like very bad marriage counselors, okay? So if you want to take up the clients, you take up through my internship. In my internship, in a year, you get 100 clients to practice. That's the best part. 100 clients is a big number. You talk, go visit your nearest marriage counselor, psychology counselors. You will find their appointment uh, register, two or three clients in a month. Here I'm giving you during internship only eight to 10 clients. After internship, when I hire you, when you work with me as a part-time or a full-time, both the options are there along with your present job or present homemaking or full-time. So you get more clients. And there are presently 500 people who are attached with me as a freelance part-time. So they are earning 40,000 to 1 lakh. There are 60 among them are full-time out of mind. So I understood part-time is better. So to earn 40,000 to 1 lakh, you get decent grants. And internship is technically free. So there are some people who are like, they don't want to put up anything, right? And they are like, just want to do internship. I don't take them. I don't want to give you. So there are people who want to commit. Yes, you commit something, then you do internship and then you get stipend. Okay, right? So there is a mutual benefit. So everyone is winning. So you are getting the internship, technically zero cost. I'm able to give you clients. The clients are able to <clears throat> uh, getting a good counselor. Right? And you are learning by trial either. Yeah, yeah, Barkha, write down. You wanted to write something. You know, why you don't know it? So they write down. Hmm. So marriage counselor, critical path is the healing path. So take up psychotherapy uh, program. And all these techniques are our copyright, not available outside. <laughs> and you don't need to put much efforts. So psychotherapy, what is the best part you like? All those students who are psychotherapy students, write down in the chat, what is the best part you like? That you just come, watch the demo, explain the effect, get healed. Yeah, you can, no problem. What was step 11? Step 11 is psychology counseling, only counseling, counseling. Right, counseling from the book, like you know, my psychology counseling book, listening them, giving them tips, telling them what they do. Psychotherapy is a 12th stage, the healing part. Okay, so that becomes a holistic marriage relationship counseling. 
Don't forget the children here. Huh? Step 13. Don't forget the children. So child counseling is very important. Okay. Child counseling and parent coaching. Step 13. Yeah. So write down in the WhatsApp you have sent me. Add the step 13 also. Edit. There is edit button nowadays in WhatsApp. So if question you can write down or if you want to unmute otherwise we end. The last point is any couple coming to marriage counseling they are rich a stage where they had multiple betrayals, multiple emotional trauma, either self-inflicted or because of someone else or other spouse. So that what they this mental trauma, this betrayal is stored as images, as memories. Okay. So you want to replace those images. You want to replace those memories. Are you WhatsApp me? I will send you the psychotherapy uh, syllabus and the video. That will give you idea how it helps someone. <laughs> then they also need to increase their emotional bank balance to heal themselves. Okay. Emotional bank balance to manage the turbulence of daily life. Okay. Increase emotional bank balance. So there are techniques for that. Okay. Now, there are two approaches for the internship. One is that you finish your program slowly, one by one, one by one, take up one year, one and a half year, different, different, and you exhaust your passion. By the time you get married, you clear your entrance or you do not clear or you do something else. Okay. Passion is gone. There are some people, I can take names also. Most of the people in this marriage batch actually, those who are parallel doing psychology, marriage, psychotherapy and internship. So they are applying all the learnings in the internship while they are learning. After six months, you are going to evaporate everything. <laughs> and their earning is going to start early. Remember that. Okay, there is no reason for to delay internship because internship is technically free, right? So, thirteen point the child counseling. So, you want to discuss if uh, you can open up. So, you can ask whether you want me to talk to a child, or you can give them some tips for the parenting tips to manage the child. So maximum students of marriage actually do our child counseling program. Okay, they're learning that. So you enjoyed? So 13 steps we have learned today. And I also enjoyed very good interactive session. We made, okay. So anyone who is in Delhi, I will be in uh, Gurgaon, NCR, anyone who is. So I will 